there's been a bit of an arc in terms of new data that's been available to the industry. A little bit behind closed doors for many years, the last five years or so with the MVPDs collecting data from the set-top boxes. Uh, and now we've seen with the, um, the introduction of the InScape data. Um, more people have been able to get a hold of it and work with it, and it's just created, just from a data perspective, it's created such excitement about looking at what people are exposed to and then being able, because they provided the rights, to match it and see what behaviors that go with the ad exposure. So the industry has been furiously running after all these new insights, um, back to one-to-one -to -one marketing uh, for television. So that is uh, very exciting and it's, it's pushing folks to look at how they spend, you know, what, is the, what are the greater opportunities to spend just against the audience that you want, so targeting is enhanced. Um, and you also have this other side of the uh, data tsunami, which is the parallel path of targeting. So what we've seen is the launch of Addressable, probably nearly 10 years ago now, um, started off very slowly because each MVPD did it with their system one at a time. And the marketers couldn't really buy national for addressability. And there was such a small amount of inventory that was available for targeting. So we have today, you know, fast forward to what's happening right now, all these wonderful groups getting together and deciding how to bring national addressability to market. So you have the data that can support it, and now you have the systems that are collaborating and providing a national footprint for addressable campaigns. So it doesn't get any more excited than that. So deterministic is really about the absolute knowledge that a household is watching something, that the TV was on at that household at that time, and the behaviors that are associated with that household. So there's this lock. And while that's not really new for smaller data sets, this is really the first time for much larger ones. And um, We'll focus back a little bit to, you know, back when the MRC, uh, sorry, MRI had the fusion with Nielsen panel data. It was the first time that everybody got to slice and dice and look at what smaller audiences were interested in, in very specific topics. So now we have deterministic TV data, which we can add in all that rich Experian data, all the transactions, psychographics, and to look exactly how they watch, consume television, and how they're impacted by it. So that is really fueling um, this excitement around deterministic TV, um, that lock between the behaviors and the television viewing is not quite enough. We need to do a little bit more to make it currency grade, but it does show you real behaviors and gives you the confidence that the modeling that's done afterwards is actually on a real good solid truth set. So is the targeting for everybody? Is it for certain advertisers or that's a how, does, how does that sort of sort out? That's a very good question. Um, I would say that targeting is not for everybody, but um, as you get used to the types of techniques that are possible with targeting, you realize that it's not just the definition of a certain household with a, a cat and children. You know, that could be a very simple definition, but actually targeting can be used for uh, more sophisticated concepts like reach extension. So let's say that you had a television campaign and you were able to get the heavy and medium viewers of television pretty quickly. And then you have this little tranche of individuals who might be the exact co um, cohort that you want to hit. They don't watch enough television to hit them easily, so it gets very expensive to try and reach them. Whereas an addressable program, which just is targeting them, can be layered on top just to hit that target. So there's this uh, dance between what is targeting, what is addressability, and all the different ways that you can use it. So it may not be for everybody in terms of a target, but if you're missing some of the audience that you want through um, our very fragmented TV landscape, you add on addressability to extend your reach and frequency at the optimal you know, level.